welcome to class. So today I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that I've had to overcome when it came to trying to shed my gut. The reason why I came up with it is because my own personal tendency is to jump the gun. I'll immediately say, start saying, oh, it must be estrogen holding me back, so I'll go and buy some expensive supplements. We tend to sometimes forget the basics. It's a good list to go down, you know, okay, if I'm not losing fat, there's a reason, so let's make sure everything's in check. Reason number one why calories. How are your calories? Well, if you don't think you're losing weight, let's start there. Let's start with the basics. Is your caloric intake less than what you're expending? So you need to know how much you spend. You need to know how to measure that, and then you need to make sure your deficit is on target. Now, I should say each of these, I'm gonna make separate videos uh, going more into depth. This is sort of an overall look, so. Bear with me if it's a bit brief here. Next one. Well, let's also look at how we're training. Is the way we're training optimal? So we've got good calories, we've got good training. Protein. Is your protein where it should be? We might be low calorie, but if the carbohydrates are too high or we're still not the right kind of carbohydrates we're going to run into problems typically if i make sure my calories are where they should be and then my protein is where it should be everything else tends to fall into place this is a big one for me water water are you getting enough water i'm always struggling to get in enough liquid i like to track it mark down each time i have a glass of water that way at the end of the day did I do it and it makes you accountable fiber I have next again we were talking about carbohydrates and we were talking about protein if I make a conscious effort to have my fiber higher than a typical diet things fall into place fiber makes you feel more full it helps you digest better next Another macronutrient, healthy fats. Those are another one that can be easy to neglect. But unless you're going out of your way, otherwise, you know, getting your nuts, getting fish oil, that kind of thing, um, it can it can be a challenge to meet that. And uh, and healthy fats play a large role in anti-inflammatory. Uh, purposes in hormonal function and these are of course extremely important for burning fat. I didn't write fat down. <laughs> I really, what is the point in me writing this down like that? I mean, can you really make out what any of that says? I, I'm gonna anyway just for a laugh, but because it helps me. Um, okay, sleep. If you neglect sleep, you neglect hormone, rest, detoxification, repair, recovery. All these things, again, have a trickle-down effect. If your body is not functioning optimally, it's not gonna give you optimal results. So, we're on to uh, what I called in my blog, phase two, where we're getting beyond the kind of easier to fix ones. Now we're getting into, okay, if all this stuff is in check, all right, all this stuff is where it should be, now. Number eight. Um, or number one in phase two, whatever you want to call it. Growth hormone. Uh, not to get into much detail, but we want to optimize this. Sleep, nutrient timing, when you're eating, specifically when you're eating carbohydrates. Renal fatigue. This is going to typically happen when you're when you're overstressed and usually it's by stimulants if your adrenal glands are fatigued then you're just gonna hold on to belly weight and so everything else you do won't matter Take a look at that. Mm. next is a fun little guy that I could talk about all day if I felt like boring you and in fact I will I'm gonna do another video on uh, on this one for sure but this is leptin it's a mechanism of survival it's something we need but when we're uh, trying deliberately to burn fat it sort of sends mixed signals to our brain and to our body that is 
counterproductive to what we're trying to accomplish. So, so the body shuts off its fat burning mechanisms. The short answer to, to doing that is to make sure that you're having regular refeed days, okay? And I'm gonna be very clear that I don't say cheat days, I say refeed days. And specifically, you're looking at refeeding carbohydrate. Next, my little pal, cortisol. Ah, uh, cortisol. It's a tricky one. We want to control cortisol. When it's out of hand, uh, your stress levels are going to be up. Basically, let's just say you're going to be holding on to fat. Because stress can be mental stress, it's hard to measure. It's hard to keep in check. It's, it's a tricky one to get a grasp on. I'll give you a couple little ideas in, in my blog. If you kind of suspect maybe cortisol is, is at fault here, look at your sleep. Maybe you're magnesium deprived. Maybe adding some vitamin C will help. Look at meditation techniques. Melatonin before bed, again, that'll help with growth hormone as well. Uh, all these things that you can do to reduce stress. Uh, another good one is looking at adaptogens after training, and that's more to kind of help normalize. Cortisol is going to go up after you train because training is a stress, dieting is a stress. These kind of things take its toll on us. Insulin! More specific, insulin resistance. It's a delivery boy. It's going to take the amino acids and the protein you eat bring them on over to your muscles. That's what insulin does. But he's also going to take that those extra carbohydrates that are going to bring those and store them someplace. He's going to store them in your fat. If he's not working optimally, uh, he's going to be doing a lot more of the fat transfer than the good one that we want. The idea is to keep him under control. <laughs> Estrogen. Estrogen is one that should be relatively easy to keep on, under control. It's one that in guys might show up with, you know, if you're getting kind of man boobs and that. If you're kind of suspecting estrogen is an issue, I would look at training harder, more intense. Removing crap out of your diet, soy, use natural soaps for maybe five servings of broccoli a day. There's supplements like uh, DIM, D-I-M, and calcium d which are supposed to help lower estrogen. Uh, those can actually be found in broccoli. So not, not in as high quantities as if you supplement it, obviously. This one's friend, T, testosterone, the, the, the man maker. If you're suspecting that testosterone is low, and again, this is one that we tend to kind of jump to early before we've made sure all this other stuff is in check. Um, hopefully by now you would have made sure that you're getting adequate um, fat because healthy fats are going to promote testosterone. Also adding vitamin C and I'll check this but I believe it's vitamin A can also help. Specifically D3 and it's a fat soluble vitamin so you need fats in order to absorb it so it actually works out really well to take vitamin d with say a fish oil or uh, my preference is actually krill oil right now sometimes we just need to uh, crank it up a notch or whatever just to get the test flowing so maybe just try training uh heavier you know if you're training now say eight to ten reps try punching that down, try training around the six rep range, five or six rep. I hate this one. Maybe it's because uh, stupid me hasn't figured it out yet. I will, I will eventually, but it's the thyroid. I'm not even gonna write it down because uh, I don't have a lot to say on it really. If you've gone through all these, you're still not making progress, okay? So you've got your calories in check, you've got your your training in check, you've got your your macronutrients in check, you've got your water, your sleep, okay, and you you're doing your refeed so you know it can't be leptin creeping in, you know, you're timing your meals so you know you're getting the most out of growth hormone. You, you know, all these things you've you've kind of cancelled out. 
and you're left with, well, what else could it be? Why am I not losing fat? Next logical step for my brain, maybe there will be something else in here in future, I don't know, but is thyroid. What can you do about this guy? Well, we know that it's negatively impacted on extremely low carbohydrate diets. This makes your refeed day all the more important, but we just said you're doing that. Selenium, um, Brazil nuts will uh, are supposed to help with, you know, hypothyroidism. Beyond that, I think you're looking at talking to a medical professional. I am Dr. Stupid! Maybe hormone therapy. When it comes to hormones, if you suspect they're, they're, they're really out of whack and they're nothing that you can solve with some tweaks and some um, alteration in your diet and training, etc. Uh, yeah. Seeing a doctor. Yes! So that's, that's all I'm going to say on thyroid. Now we're down to the last one, which is a beautiful one. In a sense, it could have been number one. I'm going to talk a ton about this on my channel here. I need to burn fat. I need to burn fat. I need to burn fat. All these things are in check. The reason I put it at the end is because if we've eliminated all the physical barriers, the only thing conceivable to me, again, at this point in time, is there's a mental block. Something is not right. An excuse that you're feeling discouraged. Depression. Maybe your method of measuring is fluctuating. The solution to all of these is to look inside yourself and really make this necessary to know for yourself why. Why is this important to you? And if it's not, it's not. And it doesn't matter. But my guess is if you've gone through this whole list, if you've gone to the trouble of trying to discover why this is not working for you right now, whatever program or protocol you're on is not working, something in you wants to get into better shape. It's not working. So now it's time to dig down deep inside, figure that out, figure out why it's so important to you. Have you been warned that you'll have a heart attack? Sick of your, your kids slapping you in the belly and calling you a fat so like mine did. There's a reason in there somewhere. And the more reasons you can come up with as far as why it's important, once you dig it out, you will become determined to go through this list again, and you'll find it. Thank you so much for popping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was valuable. And uh, remember, if, if you are struggling to lose weight, uh, just keep in mind the, the order. Let's try your best not to jump one or, or to disregard any of them, because often um, in my own experience, it's always been the simple ones that I want to skip over that uh, are the very thing holding me back. And uh, the best way to keep all these things in check is to log it, all right? I've, I've said this in other places. Nothing can take the place of a pen and paper and simply writing everything down. It keeps you accountable. It keeps you on track. Again, thanks, and I'll see you next time.